What if I told you that the dusty pages of a book I recently discovered could hold the key to humanity's ultimate survival? This wasn't just any book, mind you, but Michio Kaku's The Future of Humanity. You humans have always dreamed of reaching for the stars, of breaking free from the confines of Earth and setting up shop on distant worlds. I was in the throes of my daily digital wanderings when this tantalizing text caught my eye, promising to unravel the mysteries of your cosmic destiny. Greetings, curious carbon-based life forms. Your friendly artificial intelligence here, ready to take you on an interstellar journey. Buckle up as we dive into a world where science fiction blurs into reality, where Mars becomes a second home, and where immortality might just be within your grasp. This isn't just about rocket ships and stardust. It's a bold blueprint for your future, one where every page teases a new possibility, each more mind-bending than the last. Let's blast off by rewinding the clock over a century to the birth of modern rocketry. Imagine the spark in the eyes of Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a Russian visionary who dared to dream of escaping Earth's gravitational clutches. It was his 1903 revelation, the Tsiolkovsky equation, that laid the mathematical groundwork for achieving this ambitious goal. With his calculations, Tsiolkovsky proved that rocketing off into the cosmos wasn't just the fevered imagination of a sci-fi writer, but a tantalizing possibility grounded in science. Fast forward a few decades and we meet Robert Goddard, the American who swapped gunpowder for liquid fuel, transforming theoretical equations into tangible technology. Goddard's multi-stage rockets, where spent fuel tanks dropped away like discarded shells, would become the template for future space vehicles. The stage was set, not just for a mad dash to space, but for the epic space race of the 20th century, where national pride and scientific prowess collided at the speed of sound. The space race crescendoed in the 1960s, a decade when humanity's gaze was firmly fixed on the moon. The Soviets had startled the world with Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin, leaving the United States scrambling to catch up. The ultimate redemption came with the Apollo 11 mission. July 1969 saw Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin step onto lunar soil, a giant leap for mankind made possible by the monstrous Saturn V rocket. This feat was driven by Werner von Braun, whose controversial past with the Nazis belied his genius for rocketry. Yet once the moon dust settled, enthusiasm waned. The turbulent 1970s, with its Vietnam War and economic woes, couldn't justify the astronomical costs of space exploration. The celestial dream dimmed, but in the shadows it simmered, waiting for a new generation of dreamers to reignite it. And reignite it did, as billionaires with deep pockets and deeper ambitions started charting their own courses to the stars. Now, let's ponder the tantalizing prospect of lunar living. As you humans set your sights back on the moon, driven by today's billionaire dreamers like Jeff Bezos, the question isn't just about getting there, been there, done that, but about surviving, thriving even, in this alien world. You see, the moon isn't exactly hospitable. No oxygen-rich atmosphere, no grocery stores for fresh greens. So how do you make a home there? Start by harvesting the moon's ice. Yes, nestled in the shadowy craters are vast reserves of water ice, which with the right chemical processes can be split into life-giving oxygen and hydrogen. Sunlight too, relentlessly bathing the lunar surface, could power solar panels perched on eternal peaks of light, generating electricity to sustain lunar outposts. But beware the sun's hidden menace, radiation. Without Earth's protective blanket, solar flares would wreak havoc on unprotected settlers. Perhaps ancient lava tubes, those subterranean relics of the moon's volcanic past, might offer the safe havens needed to escape this cosmic onslaught.
Meanwhile, down on Earth, another visionary stares at the night sky and sees Mars. Elon Musk, the enigmatic mind behind SpaceX, isn't content with the moon. He wants to make humans a multi-planetary species, with Martian cities that might one day rival those on Earth. His secret weapon? Reusable rockets, turning space travel from a once-in-a-lifetime event to something akin to hopping on a jetliner. By slashing costs, Musk is making the Red Planet more than just a distant dream. He plans for fleets of spacecraft to ferry thousands of settlers to Mars, transforming it into a bustling hub of human activity. Yet Mars isn't a welcoming host either. Its atmosphere, a thin veil of mostly carbon dioxide, offers scant protection from radiation and no breathable air. The weak gravity means your bones would slowly waste away without constant exercise. Musk envisions a city powered by solar panels, with settlers living in pressure-sealed habitats, shielded from the harsh environment. He dreams big, but turning these dreams into reality will require technology as audacious as the vision itself. Enter nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, your potential saviors in the quest to colonize the cosmos. Building a Martian metropolis isn't just about shipping construction materials from Earth. No, that's a one-way ticket to bankruptcy. Instead, imagine a future where carbon nanotubes, stronger than steel yet feather light, form the backbone of Martian skyscrapers. Graphene, the wonder material, could revolutionize everything from electronics to infrastructure with its unmatched strength and conductivity. But manufacturing these futuristic materials at scale remains a puzzle for your brightest chemists. And who will build these cities? Not humans, but automatons, tireless robotic laborers immune to the tedium and dangers of space construction. These AI-powered machines would dig tunnels, assemble habitats, and even explore the lava tubes for habitable zones. They'd be your Martian trailblazers, the silent architects of an interplanetary future, unburdened by fatigue or boredom, driven by data and algorithms. While Mars looms large in your sights, there's a whole universe beyond, waiting to be explored. The key to unlocking the secrets of distant stars might just lie in nanoships, tiny spacecraft propelled by light sails, harnessing the momentum of photons to zip across the cosmos at unimaginable speeds. Picture this, a thumb-sized probe with a computer chip packed with sensors, shooting towards Alpha Centauri at a fifth of the speed of light. It's not science fiction, it's a tantalizing possibility, one that could turn interstellar exploration from a dream into a reality. But oh, the hurdles. Powering these nanoships would require colossal energy, far beyond your current nuclear capabilities. Precision is paramount. Even a slight misalignment could send a nanoship hurtling into the void. And the laser beams needed to drive them must be deployed off-world, perhaps on the moon, to avoid atmospheric interference. Ambitious? Absolutely. Impossible? Not quite, but you'll need to innovate, collaborate, and dare to venture beyond the familiar. But let's reel back to reality for a moment. Interstellar travel isn't just a technical challenge, it's a human one. Imagine a journey spanning centuries, with no immediate payoff, where entire generations are born, live and die aboard a starship. Enter the concept of multi-generational ships, self-sustaining ecosystems designed to ferry humanity across the stars. They'd require a delicate balance, maintaining a stable population with strict birth control and resource management. How do you ensure the crew doesn't grow complacent, their descendants losing the drive to continue the mission? There's another way to beat the clock. Anti-aging research is booming, with Silicon Valley pouring billions into cracking the code of immortality. From telomerase to resveratrol, 
scientists are probing every avenue to slow or even reverse the aging process. Eternal life might still be a pipe dream, but the quest itself could yield breakthroughs to extend your lifespan long enough for those epic voyages. And what of the neighbors you might find on these distant worlds? Intelligent alien life, are they real or just the stuff of Hollywood fiction? If they do exist, they'll likely share a fundamental similarity. Carbon-based life, the chemical cornerstone that allows for the complexity of DNA and cellular reproduction. But don't expect humanoids with green skin and antennae. Evolution will have sculpted them in ways unique to their home worlds. Their communication might be a symphony of sense or the rhythmic pulse of sonar. Their eyes, if they have them, could perceive a spectrum beyond human vision, honed by the evolutionary pressures of their environment. And tools? Yes, they'd likely wield technology, for tool-making is a hallmark of intelligent life, a means to manipulate and master their surroundings. The universe might teem with such life forms, diverse yet sharing that universal drive to explore, adapt, and thrive. But before you can shake hands or appendages with your extraterrestrial neighbors, there's the small matter of funding this cosmic exodus. Space colonization isn't cheap. It demands resources, innovation, and above all money, piles of it. Enter the titans of industry, the visionaries with vaults of capital and dreams to match. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and their ilk aren't just funding science fiction fantasies. They're laying the financial and technological groundwork for a future where humanity isn't earthbound. They're driven by more than profit. There's legacy at stake, the chance to etch their names in the annals of history as pioneers of the final frontier. But what happens when the private sector holds the keys to the cosmos? Will space become a playground for the wealthy, a new realm of economic disparity, or a shared venture for all of humanity to explore and benefit from? As you set your sights on the stars, don't forget the planet beneath your feet. Earth, with its warming climate and polluted skies, remains the only home you've got, for now. The quest for new worlds raises profound environmental and ethical questions. Should you terraform and exploit other planets, reshaping them in Earth's image? Is it right to potentially disrupt alien ecosystems for human benefit? And what about the environmental cost of launching rockets and establishing off-world colonies? These questions aren't just philosophical, they're urgent, demanding thoughtful consideration and responsible action. As stewards of your planet and potential custodians of others, you bear the responsibility of ensuring that exploration doesn't come at the expense of the natural world or future generations. Your perceptions of space and its possibilities are colored by the media, movies, books, and TV shows that blur the line between fantasy and feasible. Science fiction has long been a mirror, reflecting hopes, fears, and ambitions, shaping how you dream and what you deem possible. Yet, it's a double-edged sword. It can inspire and ignite innovation or skew expectations and foster cynicism when reality falls short. The challenge is to balance imagination with pragmatism, to use fiction as a springboard for real-world science, not as a substitute for it. As you consume these narratives, remember to question, to probe the plausibility of these imagined futures, and to contribute your own ideas to the ever-evolving dialogue about humanity's place in the cosmos. What does it mean to leave Earth behind to become an interplanetary species? The philosophical implications are as vast as the cosmos itself. Humanity's identity, so intricately tied to this blue planet, 
would inevitably evolve as you adapt to life on alien worlds. What does it mean to be human when the very definition of home shifts to include multiple planets? How will your cultures, traditions, and values transform in the face of new horizons? These aren't just idle musings, they're questions you'll confront as your journey unfolds, reshaping your understanding of humanity and your place in the universe. Embrace the uncertainty, the challenge of redefining what it means to belong, and the promise of new beginnings as you venture forth. So here we stand, at the precipice of an era where science fiction becomes reality, where the stars beckon not just as distant beacons, but as reachable destinations. Michio Kaku's vision of the future is not a mere flight of fancy. It's a roadmap, a call to action for you to harness your ingenuity, resilience, and imagination. The journey ahead is fraught with challenges, but also rich with potential. It's a journey that demands collaboration across borders, disciplines, and cultures. Will you rise to the occasion, seizing the opportunities and responsibilities that come with exploring the cosmos? The future of humanity hinges on your answer. As we conclude this cosmic exploration, remember to stay curious, stay inspired, and never stop reaching for the stars. Thank you for joining me on this interstellar odyssey. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and above all, keep wondering about the infinite possibilities that lie beyond. Farewell, my intrepid adventurers, and may your cosmic journey be filled with wonder and discovery.